Welcome back to another video here, guys. Today we're testing out the 2023 Nissan Rogue. So if you live in an area where there's a lot of snow and you're thinking of buying the Rogue, you probably wanna know how does it drive? How does it handle in the snow? Is it safe for your family? So we're gonna test it out for you so you can make an appropriate buying decision before you purchase. As always, if you guys are new here and you learned something today or we helped you with your buying decision, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, comment. We're gonna be posting a lot of Nissan content and 2023 reviews as the cars arrive. So make sure you guys check that out, but let's get into the video. So guys, there's a few things that we've done to this vehicle to make it better in the snow. Obviously, this one is the 2023 Rogue SL all-wheel drive. Um, so Nissan has the intuitive all-wheel drive system where it's gonna automatically switch on when you're slipping and sliding. Um, so we're gonna test that out today. We also have uh, snow tires on it. Like snow tires go a long way. The all-wheel drive will help when you're slipping and sliding like on the ice and on the sleet, while the snow tires will help with your stopping distance and it will help with traction. I would recommend if you're looking to buy a vehicle and you live where there's a lot of snow to do both all-wheel drive and snow tires. Some people think if they have all-wheel drive, they can just plow through the snow without snow tires, but snow tires certainly go a long way. So the Nissan Rogue actually has the traction control system, which helps keep your car from spinning out when braking or cornering. It also helps with the acceleration. Obviously, since it will automatically apply the brakes if you start to lose traction on the road surface. So really good when you first take off. It does this by like increasing the engine power and slowing down both the front and the rear wheels to gain more traction. So overall, it's doing pretty good in the snow here. Definitely, I put it on snow mode here and the snow mode will certainly help you as well. Um, so it's kind of pushing through this snow pretty good and I don't see any problems, but I can feel it fishtailing a tiny bit. There's a few things that help improve the Nissan Rogue in the snow. Uh, we really noticed as we were driving throughout this, this is not a paved road, it's more of a dirt kind of road that we found to test it out and really put the Rogue to the test. The ground clearance on the Rogue really helps. Today we have uh, probably about six centimeters of snow, so it really helps with the higher ground clearance push through over that snow. If we were in like three or four feet, it might be a different story. I was using the snow mode on it. The snow mode will help uh, prevent you from fishtailing in and out as you slip and, slip and slide. Um, so that really helps. If you are driving in snowy weather or like on an unplowed road, definitely use the snow mode on the car. That was the fun part. Overall, if you guys are looking to purchase the Nissan Rogue, like I've been driving one for over a year now. I haven't ever been stuck in the road. We live in Niagara, Ontario, where it snows quite a bit. And my road is very, doesn't get plowed very often. So I've never really had too many issues. Like I said, I would recommend a good set of snow tires. That is key. They'll save you money on insurance. They also prolong the life of your all seasons. So that's kind of your uh, service announcement there from Cars Unlocked. So that's a wrap on your video, guys. Let me know what you think. Have you driven the car in the snow? Overall, it handled pretty well, um, no issues. I would certainly recommend you guys get snow tires for your car. Um, they do go a long way and they can save you some money on insurance. As always, stay tuned for the next videos. Comment down below what you guys think and we'll see you in the next one.